Good afternoon, folks. There's a new wrinkle in the global climate narrative, and I am battling incredulity as I dive deep into it. Hard to see how this was missed previously, and it's big. So we're focusing today on Dr. Nikolov and his review of the hundreds and hundreds of pages of the latest IPCC report. His latest discovery comes some 900 pages into the behemoth of writing, where a different kind of shenanigans can be found. They inverted solar and long-wave radiation values by multiplying the entire Ceres dataset by negative one. This has the effect of showing the exact opposite of what the data should show, and he does an incredible job breaking down the charts and data and showing how they did this in a way that I agree cannot possibly be accidental. As he correctly points out, this has the effect of implying that solar radiation has no role in the recent warming of the atmosphere, while supporting the concept of greenhouse gas heat trapping, when of course, in reality, the real data would show the opposite, the solar forcing of recent trends, coupled with a contradiction of the greenhouse gas hypothesis. Folks, I usually go after the proven data on solar forcing and how much of it is ignored, but this is a new vector of buffoonery. You can't accidentally multiply an entire data set by negative one. They put in the real data, saw that it collapsed the climate narrative, and so they reversed it. There isn't even a question of what the real data would show. We're basically only now asking if this was the weirdest error in the history of science or if it was done intentionally to further a political narrative. I'm favoring the latter option. For more on the collapse of that narrative, you can also check out his 2021 video lecture on the greenhouse effect and why it makes no sense on this planet. Links to that video, to my retweet of his thread are also found below. You should definitely be following me on Twitter, by the way. Subscribe here for daily updates, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.